Hi and welcome. In this lesson I'm going to teach you how the web works as an overall process. The web is a way of transmitting data over the internet using the HTTP protocol and HTML. To access information from the web you need a web browser, such as Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari and so on. The web can be summarized as a series of interactions between clients and servers. In this slide you can see how the web works in a nutshell. First you request a web page in your web browser and DNS checks the domain name of the website you entered. And then the web server sends back the data for the requested web page. A web server is just a piece of software running on the operating system of a server that allows connections to access a web application. The most common web servers are Apache and Tomcat. These servers have normal directory and structures like any other computer. Now let's see what you need to know about HTTP. HTTP is a plain text protocol, so there is no security or privacy when using HTTP. HTTP is the foundation of communication for web pages and has various requests. The most important requests are GET and POST. GET request retrieves data. So every time you browse to a page you are performing a GET request. POST request. It is used for submission of web forms. For example, login forms. An important thing to remember is that HTTP was not created to handle web transactions that requires a high degree of security and privacy. You can inspect all the information of how HTTP operates with tools such as Wireshark. The solution for this problem is HTTPS because uses an encrypted protocol called Secure Socket Layer, commonly known as SSL. The S stands for secure, which means you are going to communicate with the website over an encrypted channel. HTTPS is best suited for preventing man-in-the-middle attacks and eavesdropping from packet analysis and is always better to use. So that's it for now, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.